Hi, this is Curtis Alexander. In this video, we're going to be talking about medications that you can give for low thyroid, and two in particular. So we're going to be looking at Lavoxyl. Another brand name is Synthroid versus Armor Thyroid. Other brand names are West Thyroid and P Thyroid. So when you have a low thyroid, um, you your body makes thyroid hormones, T4 and T3. Your body makes it in about 11 to 1 ratio, T4 to T3. A lot of that T4 is converted to T3, which is the active form, everything's great. But when you have low thyroid, you have a number of issues going on that cause you to not produce enough thyroid hormones, so we supplement. The question becomes, which one should you supplement with, or which one should you talk to your doctor about? And that's what I want to touch on. So, Lavoxyl or Synthroid is a T4 only product. That's really important to know because most people, I have Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is a form of hypothyroid, um, they have trouble converting T4 to T3, and that's going to become important. Armor Thyroid is a mixture of T3 in about a 4 to 1 ratio, and the reason it's 4 to 1 versus the 11 to 1 that your body produces naturally is because some of the pharmacokinetics and the half-life and stuff's broken down quicker. Um, so this cl fairly closely resembles what's ultimately going to end up in the body. Okay, I would say that Lavoxyl and Synthroid, uh, I mentioned that other brand name, are definitely more popular. That doesn't necessarily mean they're better. I'm not going to recommend one or the other. I'm just going to kind of give you what you should be looking at and let you and your doctor make the decision. But just because something is popular doesn't mean it's the right way to go. Um, one of the big knocks, I don't agree with it, but one of the big knocks against the T4, T3 combo products is the standardization. Um, I don't really find that that's as big an issue as some people like to make out of it, but it is a concern because it comes basically from a pig thyroid. Um, so to standardize that, they're still required by the FDA and the regulatory agencies to, to standardize it. But anyway, it's one of those things that some doctors may be shy of using it, but, but that's one of the concerns. Um, the Voxel and Synthroid is going to be cheaper. Neither of them are terribly expensive, um, but definitely Armour Thyroid is going to be more expensive. Lavoxyl and Synthroid have more strengths available, which is a plus. But here's the thing I really want to talk about. We already mentioned that in your body, you make a lot of T4. Your body converts most of that to T3, okay? So if we give somebody Lavoxyl or Synthroid, which is all T4, and I made another video about how I see people given T4 and their labs look better, but they still feel like crap. Well, what's going on is they're most likely not converting. So what causes you to convert T4 to T3? A lot of different factors. Um, a big one is your liver and kidney health. Most of the conversion is going to occur in your liver. Uh, most of the thyroid uh, issues happen in the liver. So if you have any sort of liver issues, you're likely going to have issues converting. Uh, selenium, zinc, a big one is carbohydrates. Um, I was really ultra low carb. I did time-restricted feeding. I did it for over a decade and I eventually started developing problems. That's why I'm not a fan anymore of diets that cut out one macronutrient. I think it's unhealthy long term. Um, and so I developed these issues down the road. So if somebody can convert T4 to T3, great. They can just be given T4. But most people with low thyroid can't. So that's where it's nice to give somebody a mix. Now, that doesn't throw out this class of drugs. What I would do is you could start it. And if you're not feeling better, think about, talk to your doctor about adding in Cytomel. Cytomel is just T3. So now you're doing the same thing as you would be with the Armour Thyroid, but you're doing it with two different products. In T3, and the nice thing about doing it that way is you can adjust them both independently versus just being given a standard ratio and you can base it off how you're feeling, not just your labs, but how are you feeling. Too often with thyroid problems, we're trying to chase labs. That's one thing I disagree with as well. So 
Hopefully this gives you a pretty good overview of the differences, some of the options you have and what might be best for you. Um, I hope the video was helpful and uh, until the next one, I will see you later. Thanks.